Today you're going to learn about supernatural weight loss. Now you may think that weight gain is just something connected with the fact you eat too much or it's in your genetic makeup but it can be linked to a spiritual reason. Now in the scripture, we find one particular person with a problem with eating. I wonder whether you can guess who that was. I'll give you a clue. It was one of the sons of Isaac. Now, Isaac and Rebekah had two sons. The eldest son, in fact, they were twins. And the eldest son who was delivered first was called Esau. And the second one was called Jacob. Now, Jacob, of course, changed his name to Israel from where we get the name of the country, Israel. Now, God had designed and always had this in mind to have a family which would lead to the Messiah, lead to the Christ. And if you look in, in Matthew 1, you'll find in the genealogy that the genealogy leading to Christ contains the name of Jacob, not of Isaac, although Esau was the firstborn. Now, here was the problem. What's this got to do with food? Well, Esau was a hunter and Isaac used to like Esau to go out and hunt and bring home fresh meat, delicious meat. Now you can read about this in Genesis 25 and 27, especially in 27. In Genesis 25, there's the occasion where Esau was absolutely ravenously hungry and uh, he sold his birthright to Jacob the birthright of the firstborn. But the main point of today is the fact that in Genesis 27, when uh, Rebecca noticed that her husband was going to give the blessing to the firstborn, in other words, to Esau, she didn't want that. Now, God had moved upon the heart of Rebecca to make sure that the blessing went to Jacob. And you can read the story in Genesis 27, um, Rebecca, she put her uh, her second born son into sort of clothing of um, of fur and smelly stuff. Look, smelt like uh, Esau the hunter, because uh, Esau was a hairy man and Jacob was a smooth man. So there's the story. Anyway, when um, Isaac blessed Jacob, the blessing in the line came for that to messianic line. And it was correct. Uh, and we find that Esau had this problem of eating. He was the most, he was the favoured son by um, Isaac because Isaac liked to eat and Esau liked to eat. And there was a weakness there. Now, if you have an eating problem, it's because of a spiritual reason, a soul wound. Somebody has hurt you in the past and your soul is wounded and this soul wound transfers into you eating for comfort. Soul wounds are guarded by devils and in fact Esau was never involved or never included in the lineage for Jesus and he was the father of the Edomites and the Edomites had a, a, a pagan god, the goat god. Now goats will eat anything. And in fact, when Isaac sent out Esau to go make a meal, he said, go kill a couple of goats, a couple of kids, young goats. So that goat god said, was implying that the Edomites, or um, Esau in particular, would eat anything. Now, if you've got this goat god influence in your, in your bloodline, it will cause you to want to eat anything and everything and to overeat. It is a spiritual root in your bloodline. And the way out of that is bloodline cleansing by deliverance. Now, let's get back to the, the point. We can have problems with our overeating, which is a sin in Galatians 5, verses 19, 20, 21. It lists the, the, uh, the sins of the flesh. And those sins link us to the spirit of death. And if we overeat, we have made a link with the spirit of death. 
made a link in fact with that goat god of, um, of Esau. And that spirit of death will kill us. Overeating will kill you early. It will cause you to have problems with arthritis and diabetes and all sorts of things like that because it is a wrong spiritual link. and We need to break that link. If you've tried and tried and tried to lose weight and you think, I just can't shift this off my belly and uh, maybe you've got other problems, uh, sort of addictions to sugar and stuff like that, you need to pray and cleanse your bloodline of this spiritual link back to the goat god of Esau. I know it sounds amazing, but I, I've, I've read uh, this, that people who have done this have had supernatural weight loss. So it's not just a case of getting out and running, because that doesn't do any good at all. You just, it just ruins your joints. And cutting down on what you eat, and you still can't lose weight. Try the spiritual connection. Make a break with this goat god connected to Esau and Esau's goat god has we, we've not got a goat god we've got we've got Jehovah we've got father god as our god we're in the bloodline of Jacob we are in the Christ line he is our elder brother we're in his family and we are blessed when we're blessed we can expect the the blessing of God, which means health and long life. That means that we can believe for a supernatural weight loss. Supernatural weight loss, okay? We don't have to rely upon just the most modern diet and most modern this. We can believe. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe that I can lose weight supernaturally. I break the curse of the goat God in my bloodline. And I ask you, Lord, for the blessing of God to even break this sin in me, the sin of connection, this overeating that I've been prone to. I break it now in Jesus' name. Amen.